Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the insides of a failed relay. Uh, so this is presumably a really, really cheap uh, automotive style relay. Uh, it's got some ratings on the top of it, or A rating. We've got uh, 12 volts and 40 amps. And then it's got the uh, diagram for what the pins do. Now I will say I've already had this open once, uh, just to see what's in it. Uh, but I haven't had it completely open, I've had it partially opened. But I'll go ahead and take this apart for you and show you what's on the inside. Maybe. Screwdriver. Might have to find a bigger screwdriver. There we go. So on the inside of this big uh, relay housing, we have a much smaller relay uh, soldered to a circuit board. And if you look at this relay, uh, right side up, preferably, uh, we have a 12 volt, 10 amp relay. It is not a 40 amp relay. And this relay no, ma no longer works, and in fact, it only worked for about two minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the other thing, uh, I got in here, I kind of wiggled it around a little bit, and one of the solder connections was bad. Uh, so that was the first thing that I knew was wrong. Uh, so I reflowed all the solder connections, and the thing still doesn't want to work. So we're going to pop the rest of this thing open because usually these do just open up and when I say it doesn't work um, to be a little bit more specific the thing clicks but it does not actually make any kind of connection so I guess we might as well just break this plastic housing off we have to it doesn't work so Of course, that could happen. All the pins actually ripped right off the solder still, even after being reflowed. I guess this thing is like glued together, ultrasonically welded or something like that, so. Destructive teardown. Well, I'll tell you what, looking at the inside of this, I'm not real sure what the heck is wrong with it. Uh, it still moves. Looks like the contacts still work. Uh, but, yeah, I really have no idea what the heck has happened to this. Unless something's gone wrong on this board or solder connection somewhere else. Well, it was indeed wired correctly, looking off the diagram, and it did work for a little bit. So I don't really know what happened to this. Possibly solder connection right there was supposed to be in place. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can't hook up an alligator clip wire across where the terminals are supposed to be. One of them yet broke off on the solder. The other one's still there. Set this to continuity and see if it makes a connection or not. Seems to be. I should be able to hook this and this up and connect that across. 12 volt power supply and have it turn on. That appears to work. It appears to work just fine. And here you should be able to see what this relay actually looks like when it engages. So curiously, that relay actually does seem to work. Uh, so something else is wrong here. And I would not be surprised at all if it was the soldering on the circuit board, or the circuit board itself, or something along those lines. Uh, so looking at this, 
I mean, this trace is all kinds of messed up, but uh, I don't think that's hooked up to anything anyway. I'll actually, I take that back. That is hooked up to something. That might be the issue. <laughs> all right, so uh, I went ahead and put a piece of wire in between that broken spot on the circuit board. So I've got the meter hooked back up again and our power supply. And it actually works now. So I, in quote marks, fixed the cheap relay. Uh, probably still not trustworthy. And the inner shell from this relay is now broken off, but I don't really think that matters because we have this shell that snaps right over it to protect it. Not sure I put that in there the right way, but whatever. <clears throat> See, we got a nice solid click to it. Not sure what it is about having that box around it, but it makes it click a lot louder. Uh, there's a little teardown and repair of a really cheap Chinese relay, uh, though this is only 10 amps rated, but I think it's good enough for the application that it was intended for, which was to run an air pump for a set of air horns. So uh, anyway, hopefully you found that interesting. Um, these things are just made so insanely cheap. That circuit board probably had a defect or two on it and it broke the track that was on it. So I just had to put a piece of wire over that. Uh, taking the relay to bits, like all this plastic stuff wasn't really necessary, but also this casing isn't really necessary either in order for this to function, especially since it's got another casing around the outside of it anyway. So uh, anyway, that's it for now guys, bye.